Solo Guardians, Bolt Solo Plays here, bringing you another episode of Where in the Tower is or Age in the Nine. It is the weekend of February 3rd through the 5th. Zer is hanging out in the tower north on the balcony just past the speaker. Let's see what he's got for us this week. First off, Legacy Engram, we have a Helmet Engram. So if there's any Year 1 Helmets you're still trying to collect to finish off your collection, there's your chance. Otherwise, not really worth it just because of how many Strange Coins it is. Titans this week get the Helm of Saint-14 Helmet. It's got an Intellect Strength Roll, Ashes Assets or Heavy Lifting, and Invigoration. And its exotic perk is Starless Knight. Your Word of Dawn blinds enemies who enter it. Pretty good, pretty good exotic uh, for a Bubble Titan, especially in PvE. It's more aligned to PvE where you got enemies coming at you, so you can pop the bubble to try to stay safe, and when they come in, they get blinded and they can't attack you. So it's worth having on. Hunters get the Radiant Dance Machines, leg armor. It's got Intellect or Discipline, Shotgun Ammo or Machine Gun Ammo, then Arc Double Down, Solar Double Down, or Void Double Down. And the exotic perk is the Dance. You move more quickly while aiming your weapon. Uh, these weren't bad for agility builds in like year one, but since then there's been better agility builds. Uh, the Frosties and the Bones of AL people like a lot more just because you get more speed on that for around this one is literally while you're aiming your weapon you move faster but uh, it, you can have a good build with this in like Mita for an agility build if you're going straight agility Warlocks get the Skull of Dire Ahamkara helmet it's got increased discipline or strength hands on or second thoughts an invigoration. Exotic perk is Dilutions of Grandeur. Take reduced damage while using Nova Bomb. Improved energy drain abilities. Uh, more or less, unless you're just starting to get exotics, this is a pass. There's better stuff. I mean, you're not. It doesn't. The animation for Nova Bomb isn't super long, so reduced damage from taking Nova Bomb. You shouldn't possibly die from taking using a Nova Bomb. And then improved energy drain ability. There's other exotics that do the same thing. I mean, just straight up, the RAM would probably be a better option than this for the extra. You get energy drain on that, and you get the um, extra armor. The weapon this week is the Invective Shotgun. It's a full auto. And it's got Accurized Ballistics, Field Choke, or Linear Compensator. Final round, quick draw, fitted stock, or send it, and its exotic perk is invective. This weapon regenerates ammo over time. And it's got ornaments, so you get the Storm Reporch, which gives it like the cracked lava look. Then we have the Iconoclast, which gives it that more regal look with the red and everything. Um... Not a bad shotgun. Uh, it's not very useful in PvP right now, besides just always having ammo. If you have trouble getting ammo in PvP, it might be worth using this. But you have to be aware that the impact isn't up there compared to what rules PvP right now, like the Matador. But you can get the range up there pretty good and everything. And it's got final round, and it fires faster, so you might be able to get two shots off before someone can kill you if you need to uh, but in PvE it's still a pretty decent gun and having the, especially in like strikes or raids and stuff like that where you might not get the special you need at a certain time might be worth having just so that in areas where a shotgun is usable since it regens ammo Curious this week, we have the Plasma Drive and the Void Drive to upgrade those rare sparrows to Legendary. 
We have the Heavy Animal Synthesis. We have a 3 stack for 1 Strange Coin and a 10 stack for 3 Strange Coins. Then you have your 3 Coins, a 5 stack for 7 Strange Coins, and then the Glass Needles, a 3 stack for 3 Strange Coins, 3 Motes Light, and 1 Exotic Shard. Material Exchange, you can get a Motor Light for 2 Strange Coins, or you can get an Exotic Shard for 7. So that was Zer's stock for the weekend of February 3rd through the 5th. Make sure to like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts on what he brought and what you're still hoping he brings next week or the following week. And then make sure to check out my other videos at youtube.com slash C slash Bolts Little Plays. You can check me out streaming from time to time over at twitch.tv slash Bolts Little Plays. Till next time, Guardians. Take it easy.